Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. My hair is a little bubbly today because I didn't want to pull it back real tight, so I, I kind of look like I have a bouffant on this side. But anyways, uh, I promised I was going to uh, do something new and uh, incorporate this into the video so you can see exactly what it is. And it's a new product that I'm trying. I know other people have tried it before. I have never tried this, so this is gonna be a new experiment for me. But my pigments are mixed with the Vivid Enamel. And that comes with the Color Art pigments if you buy the bigger size. You will get this with the new pigments that are out. The other ingredient that I'm trying out is the Rust-Oleum Triple Thick Polyurethane. This is incorporated into the pigments as well as the Vivid Enamel. What you do is you take a 15 milliliter scoop and you take one scoop of each, the enamel and one scoop of the Rust-Oleum Triple Thick. You put that in a small cup. Um, I have a cup here. And you take a small scoop of the pigment. I put my uh, enamel and my rostroleum in first. Then I take the small white scoop. Phil has one on a plate there. You want to hand it to me, that small white scoop? And you just take your pigment, you put it on the top, and you just tap it in your enamel and your um, triple thick. You stir, 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 stir. What you will get it'll go down right away. into your cup and you just stir 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 until you get that that's my new experiment that we're going to try today i'm trying it very first time so this ought to be something i'm on a 10 by 10 canvas i'm going to do the wrecking pour again because i like the wrecking blooms and um, i'm going to be using the new pigments that i got this one is actually called Sunburst. This is the Payne's Gray. Does it look like gray? It's Payne's Gray. It's just, it's a beautiful color. Ah, this is Key Lime. Almost looks good enough to eat, doesn't it? <laughs> I love Key Lime pie. Well, okay, I can, I'm gonna make you a Key Lime pie on this canvas. Leave me hungry. And this is the wine and roses. I like wine too. I love some wine and a key lime pie. I'll be good. And I get the roses, right? That's right. You get the roses. Okay, so I'm going to put my base down. My base is um, the Color Place by Walmart. You can get it at Walmart, and it's a satin finish. So here we go, people. We're going to see how this works. That should probably be enough, I would think. We can really stretch it, I guess. Okay. My first color that I'm going to put down, I'm going to do the Wine and Roses because I love this color. So we're going to see what this brings. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do my key lime on top of that, I think. Bill's favorite. You know they have the key lime cheesecake at the Cheesecake Factory. 
we could go get a piece. If you don't quit talking about food, I'm going to stop this video and go eat. <laughs> You're going to be going to Cheesecake Factory, right? That's right. Hey, I'm going to, I'll be right with you, so I, I won't be in the video either. <laughs> and then we'll come back and we'll have our stomach full of cheesecake. Yum. Now, I'm, we're going to have to get some because that does sound good. And this is the sunburst. Now, I'm going to use a white activator on this today. And you're, you know your consistency is right when you have an elastic spring up. See how that springs up? Mm -hmm. Okay. So ought to be something. I hope uh, this works with this uh, new rust oleum. Well, you've got a couple new things going, so it should be uh, should be interesting. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Hopefully, I don't get any on my shirt because this is a good shirt. Let it come back in. Blow it out. You know, your apron's hanging in the back. It's protecting the curio <laughs> cabinet. Okay. You know, it's right along hanging with yours. <laughs> That's true. Oh, those colors. Okay, we're going to let this just release from the middle a little bit. We're going to see what happens. Colors look pretty. Ah, it looks like a, um, looks like a flower, doesn't it? Or don't you think? Well, maybe a lopsided looks flower, like a, but. Looks like a bloom to me. Well, it is a bloom, but doesn't <laughs> it kind of look like a flower kind well, of? Well, they all do to me when you do this. They do? Yeah. Oh, boy. The beginning, anyways. Do you? Okay, I'm going to wreck it. I'm really into wrecking, you know? Yeah. I don't even know why I like it so much. I, I like it because it uh, stretches some of the paints. And... Okay, let's see how this is going to... Oh, this is going to move. Nice. Now that rustoleum that you put in there, what, what, what is that supposed to do? Anything? Is it supposed to help with um, cells, or what do you think? I would think it's supposed to help with the cells, but I mean, I could be wrong. I don't, I don't know. Or it just maybe it just keeps it from rusting. <laughs> <laughs> now that is funny. <laughs> We don't, oh my want God. No, we don't want any rusty paintings around here. That's right. Oh my gosh. That is funny. These are really pretty colors. Yeah, they are. Super. That wine and roses is beautiful. Yeah, that's, that wine is, yeah, very nice. Wow. I go, wow. Oh. I'm really getting full of paint here, though. OK, 
you're tipping like with me. <laughs> I can see out of the corner of my eye you're tipping. I'm trying to keep the painting so people can see it. Look at that concentration. <laughs> You just want to show my bubble do. Uh, that's right. That's all you want to see is my bubble do. Oh, this is pretty. I can see the edge. You're on there the edge. There we go. Did well, you want to bring some down to the white area? I mean, you don't have to. I can. I mean, just... It's up to you. You're the artist, designer, painter. How's that suit your fancy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I think that was very good. I'd like to see some more cells in it, though. Well, let's see here. Got a little bit of stuff. It's a little webbing, not much. Yeah. But I'd like to see some, some more. Actually. Well, I kind of like how the, I guess the, the greenish goes through and up through there. And the other, uh, the other day, Phil was uh, pointing on uh, one of my paintings that I did. And I, see, I always say to him, please don't get close. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Okay, so show them. Oh. He's pointing and he puts his finger right in it. And he goes, oh, no. I said, yeah, uh-huh. Oh, you know what you're doing. Well, my depth, per depth perception isn't the greatest. Yeah, that's why I don't want your fingers <laughs> pointing. So, okay, everybody, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel. If um, you like it, give me a thumbs up. Hit the bell, you'll get notified every time Phil uh, loads a video. And I hope you all have a great day, and I hope you like this experiment like I did. Um, I'd like to see a little bit more webbing and uh, cells. That's the only thing. Otherwise, I think the, the pigments are beautiful. So, until the next time... Bye.